just read this one, The Noise of Time. It's about Shostakovich, who's one of my favorite composers. He kind of had a very fascinating life in this one. It tells the story in a very interesting way, like kind of from the perspective of Shostakovich, which kind of makes it like a, like a novel. It d didn't feel, it felt like fiction. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about writing, like not only songs, but also books and stories. So I hope sometime in the next few years I can kind of write my stories through or write write short stories of my life but like almost use my songs to explain them if that makes sense. It's kind of like a goal of mine. I've been reading a lot about, I've just read this one, Essays in Love. I also read Conversations on Love. I also wrote Everything I Know About Love. Lots of love stories, um, some Jane Austen as well, in preparation for this new album, because this new album is actually a love album. So I just became kind of infatuated with how other people talk about love and how other people experience love. Um, it's a messy thing. I've trained myself to read pretty quickly if I'm on my own. The thing is, like, when I'm, I talk so much, when I with other people a lot, I don't read. <laughs> but the second I'm like alone for a week, I'll like read a book a day because I'm like I need to like fill my brain. I have a lot of lyrics that I've written that I'm very proud of. I think a song that is very ly lyric heavy that I'm really proud of is a song, not my most well known one. It's called Questions for the Universe. And it kind of started as a poem. It was just a list of questions that I had for the universe. And um, I think one of the lyrics is, why, why would I kiss a boy just to get hurt? Plant a living flower on this dying earth. I kind of like that one. <laughs> that was, I wrote that and I was like, woo. <laughs> I haven't planned out any specific bookshops that I'm going to hit up um, on tour. But what I like to do is just, you know, go walk around and see. There's always a bookstore and it's always like the cultural hub, kind of. There's so much you can learn from a city, from the, their bookstores. And I think on tour, I'm oftentimes in a city for just like a couple of hours before a show and going to a bookstore and kind of like getting to see the people and the culture. And also there's always like a section with books about the city or the country. I think it's one of the quickest ways to, you know, get to know a city. I think my favorite books to read when I'm in like studio mode, I like just a good like gripping like fiction novel, kind of something that takes a little less brain work, um, but it's just like an entertaining story. I read this one recently. This is probably the nerdiest Murakami. Everyone's always like, oh, have you read Murakami? And I'm like, yeah, yes, but it was an interview with a conductor, and it's just 200 pages of talking in detail about Beethoven and jazz. <laughs> if there's one book I could recommend to everyone, it would probably be my favorite book, which is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Um, I think it's a lot of people's favorite, but I think the writing is really beautiful, the story is very gripping, it's kind of what got me out of my reading hiatus, if you will. <laughs>